All right, here we go. Let's watch it. This is the new uh, Genshin Impact version 3.0. Have you heard of Ermin's Soul before? No. The Dendro Archon is known as the though. God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Is that right? Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. Well, that's unpleasant. The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. It's wow. Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday. Milu's dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Wait, did, did they say wishes? Like, isn't that how you got... Wait, so the, even the people in the game are doing the gotcha pulls? So, the, yeah, the people in the game do gotcha pulls too. Damn, that's smart. Yeah, you fuck it. You, you build that into the lore. I like this. That's impressive. Okay. The most important performance at the Subzerus Festival. The goddess of flowers began to dance. Countless beautiful pretty nice. stars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Wow. 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 Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. I love the visuals. I think these are phenomenal. They're amazing. Mocha goes, yeah, like my dad and I, we put up Easter egg houses every year. And we have like these little 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 Easter egg houses that are made of you know like little eggs or hollowed out that have like windows in them and shit. So like I love seeing this man. It makes me so nostalgic. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. This is awesome. Training Forest Major Kale reporting for duty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Is that right? I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline. One with the forest. Why she have fox ears? Let's nip that in the butt. Wait, it's that's a he? It's a tool produced by Wait, what? Academia that utilizes the legacy of greater lord Luca Devata. You may use an Akasha terminal to connect- I guess I could have assumed that it was a- it was a guy, because if it wasn't the beginning of the cinematic, or the- it, you know, the character introduction would have begun with like an upskirt shot or something like that. So yeah, you can pretty much assume it's probably actually a guy. Connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Shazam! Here's the goods! What's that, Aladdin? Oh man, my words. Our these bosses shall return. All will suffer retribution together. You all saw that just now? Uh huh. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Oh no. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death. True. Aren't you ashamed True. of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? This device, it's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. The sub Zeru's festival. Boss? Go celebrate the birth of that god. Created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth. Oh my but god. I do wish to defile it. It would be too risky to continue the Subzeros Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. We don't have any more festivals to waste. <laughs> Are you really so damned? Just in complete denial. The world forget. 
Damn, that's actually- that's pretty fucking cool. God damn. Like, I love how, like, every time- It's so funny to me that, like, Elden Ring's tree was so definitive that now every other tree in the game is viewed as ripping off Elden Ring. Anytime there's a tree in any game, it's like, ah, oh, stealing from Elden Ring, yep, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's like now, like, they basically own trees. Okay, okay. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's a boss. Okay. Okay. This does, it is a lot like Tower of Fantasy. Yes it is. Yes it is. Um. The combat looks pretty clean. I'll have to say that, I, I they copied Tower of Fantasy, yeah true. Um, the combat does look very clean. I like that. Like the nameplates and everything like that, yeah. Okay, uh, two-piece sets, new weapons. It's a swordfish. Oh, the weapons look pretty cool, man. I really like the sword and the big sword. Yeah. Oh, this looks good to me. I mean, shit. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, that seems fine. Pretty much free. Yeah, sure. How did we Breath of the Wild clone become so big? Well, um, the thing is, anime girls are, uh, that's what people like. Uh, and the thing is, not only, the, the big thing with, like, the anime girl type content, like, this is, like, a huge factor that a lot of people don't understand because we don't have contact with these other people, is that girls love these fucking games. It's not just a bunch of fedora-wearing, atheism-loving, fucking uh, pimple-ridden, fat neckbeards living in their basement. No. It's actually a lot of girls that love these fucking games. And the reality is that there are a lot of girls out there. There's like, uh, I've heard there's like thousands of them, like millions maybe, right? So if you think about all of those girls that they're not playing any real video games... That no way, yeah, I don't think so either, but, you know, it's just it's what I hear, right? It's like science or something. And so, they're not playing any video games, they're like Animal Crossing or like some other game, right? So, if you have a game like Genshin Impact that doesn't have a lot of other competitors that girls can get into and play and really enjoy, you have a tremendous massive audience. And if you think that it's not a tremendous audience, go over and watch beauty videos. Look at the viewership on, like, how to put on X or Y thing for, like, some new mascara line. And, like, these videos have, like, fucking 5, 10 million views. And it's like, we're not watching any of this. Like, I'm not watching it, you're not watching it, but there's, like, a, this huge audience of people that we don't even see that are just, that this is what they do. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I think Genshin Impact is a lot larger than we might imagine in, like, our sphere, right? In our manosphere. Because, like, whenever my, my viewership of female viewers doubled in, uh, in Final Fantasy, it went from, like, 1 to 1.5% 1 to 2 to 3%. This is a male space. Almost everybody that's watching this stream is a guy. That's a fact. That's what the numbers show. And uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm totally fucking fine with it. All I'm saying is that 
a lot of these uh, these games they appeal to women on a much higher ratio than a lot of these other like like World of Warcraft maybe even like in Final Fantasy. That's one of the reasons Final Fantasy is so popular is there's a lot of girls that play the game. But girls historically have not really been into video games as much as guys have. And so you have games like this that do attract that female audience naturally without having it be forced or weird or something like that. And they they have, like, think about it, right? You have twice as many people that you can have be your target audience. I mean, there you go. And so now, Brian, I know a few girls who watch your stream. Yeah, I, 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 I know a few as well, but I also know about a thousand guys that do. Like, every time, as I've told you guys, every time there's been a, a fucking somebody that comes up to me in real life, it's some guy, he's got a fucking, you know, maybe he's balding, maybe he's got a gray beard, he's probably got both, and he comes up to me, he's like, bro, f big dick, man. Bro, I watch your videos all the time, they're fucking great. Yo, that shit with Diablo Immortal, fuck that game. Bro, we used to play Diablo 2, man, I hope they don't do that to Diablo 4. Can I get a picture? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I take a picture with him, he's like, alright. He, he leaves, and I see him, he's like, okay, honey, alright, let's go. And and that's it. You know, that's what it is. It, it, and, like, you could see, like, the wife or the girlfriend in the background. Because, you know, it's like, she probably, she probably recognized me too, and, you know, for a different reason. And so, I, yeah, this shit happens all the time. So, yeah, it's, it's mainly guys that watch the show. Like, that's what it is. And uh, 2.0 trailer was the best. I might watch it if I watch another one, but uh, we'll see. And uh, for a different reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, not for that. No, not for that reason. I mean, it's because they're watching it because, like, their boyfriend or husband or brother or somebody else is watching. Uh, you do with some of the males and not everyone who likes weeb stuff. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, the thing is, every game that you play is going to attract and alienate an audience of people. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're playing Tower of Fantasy or Diablo Immortal or uh, Diablo 2. You will alienate and attract a different group of people. And the best thing that I can hope for is that people that watch the show enjoy my content and they stick around for the next game. Because I do like playing a lot of different types of games in general. And I, I think that over time you just build up that core audience of people who just like watching you for you. I've done that with uh, with WoW. I did that for years with WoW. I did a little bit of that with Dark Souls. I did that with Elden Ring. I did that with Final Fantasy. And at the end of the day, you have more total people in your core audience. So I, I think, yeah, and, and now, yeah, Tower of Fantasy. The people that discover my content through Tower of Fantasy and they stick around and they watch me play Final Fantasy XIV again or play World of Warcraft Dragonflight and they're like, oh, this is cool. Like, it's a snowball. You just pick up more and more people. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll read a few comments about this, and uh, then, then we'll move on. Find it interesting how popular Lost Ark is with Korean girls? Um, I think it's just popular over in Korea in general. Uh, I, I think it's much more popular over there. Uh, I don't know why it would be popular specifically with Korean girls. I have no idea. Imagine your viewer base whenever you're playing Genshin. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it came from yeah Johnny Depp. People discovered my stream through Johnny Depp, and they're watching me react to Genshin Impact trailer. Like, that's, I think that's a W. I talk a lot about Genshin compared to other games uh, to Genshin, even though you've never played it. Well, the reason I have recently is because we've been playing Tower of Fantasy, and Tower of Fantasy is tremendously derivative of Genshin Impact. Uh, so yeah, of course. And I use also Genshin Impact. I think Genshin Impact is a very important game, because Genshin Impact was the, the first game that, in my mind, besides FIFA, uh, that had a gotcha system that was tremendously successful in the West. Yeah, I, I think that that's that's why it's it's so important, and it's also one of the biggest games in the world right now, whether you like it or not. Uh, what's this here, uh, guys? It won't be able to stand eight hours of Paimon dialogues as introduction. Well, I, I don't know what that is. I think aren't the Paimons the, the little like the like the characters like Mia and Tower of Fantasy? I think so. Uh, why are you watching streaming here instead of as well? Uh, so I know people ask this all the time. Uh, the reason why I'm streaming on this channel is because uh, I'm not able to keep up a regular schedule with my mainstream. Uh, I've been dealing with some things with my, my real life. I've been getting a lot of my teeth fixed. And uh, honestly, talking the way that I have, I'm already starting to feel it like kind of fatiguing me. So we're going to get back to just doing some games and chilling like very soon. And uh, like the front of my, like basically like my teeth got broken in the, uh, in the first set of uh, dental surgery that I had. And the process of that is it was repaired in a way that makes it uncomfortable to talk regularly. 
And it's really actually not the dentist's fault because those teeth were already brittle and rotten to begin with. So I'm getting those fixed. I have an appointment date. It's going to be 10 days from now. And after I do that, I'm going to recover from that. And I plan on coming back to streaming after that. Uh, basically, I, I had a, a lot of real life things happen kind of like on the same day. And I realized that like my life is like completely was like and is still but less to an extent now that I have other things taken care of completely out of control. Right. Like I, I had lost control of, you know, everything I was doing. And it was just like I had so many loose ends, everything like that. So I've gone through, cleaned up the house and, uh, you know, I've tried to like my room is a lot cleaner, et cetera. And uh, that that's why. So I'm just trying to get some of that shit taken care of, and then we'll be back to the normal schedule and doing everything else. I'm not sad. No, I'm not sad. Um, uh, you know, there's things that make me sad sometimes, but uh, no, I'm, I'm good. So yeah, uh, that, that, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. That's what's happening. That's what it is. So yeah, it's not like I'm like quitting. I, I don't, I'm not unhappy with the state of my stream. There are things that annoy me with the stream, right? Like a constant Final Fantasy WoW player war of like, you know, oh, this game is better. Or, oh, I wish WoW had this or whatever. Like it's just, I, I hate that. It's annoying. It's exhausting. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the state of my stream. I'm happy with the state of the community. I, I, I'm, I'm happy about everything. Uh, I just need to do this because it's just, it, it's been ruining my life. And it's completely my fault, by the way. It's not like this happened to me. I did this. I did this to myself. So, yeah, uh, that, that's why. Do you regret starting Final Fantasy XIV for that sometimes? No. Why would I regret that at all? Like, I, I, I like the game a lot. I love the story of the game. I'm not a huge fan of the combat. I don't think it's that great. But I think the game is good. I enjoy the game. So, yeah. Why would why would I regret playing Final Fantasy? <laughs> 